In this video, let us see about March 17, Indian Express Newspaper 2022. If you like the video, please do share, comment and subscribe. First article talks about China proposes visit events to revive India's talk. Two years into military standoff along the in, uh, line of actual control in Ladakh, Beijing has reached out to New Delhi to revive the bilateral dialogues and set the stages for BRICS. That is Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, um, submit in China later this year. To begin with, Beijing has proposed a visit. With China emerged as India's major adversary and a form of outreach in, is a sign of willingness to engage and resolve the hot button issues. BRICS submit this year could be that opportunity, as was the case in 2017 when Doklam has resolved. Doklam was resolved days before BRICS. Chi in the Chinese, Chinese have also proposed an India-China civilization dialogue to be held uh, in both countries. They have also proposed that proposed an India-China trade investment cooperation forum and India-China film forum. India. Sorry, China, which also holds the chair of RIC, that is Russia, India, China, trilateral this year, could also host the leader summit on, on the side lines of BRICS summit. While India uh, India has always uh, always the main main um, India has always maintained that border situation has adversely impacted the bilateral ties. China has insisted that the border dispute should be handled appropriately and the larger picture of the bilateral tries should be kept in mind. Uh, he also said um, Jay Shankar uh, has described the three mutuals as mutual respect, mutual sensitivity, mutual interest. Said these were the determining factors for the ties. Four year UG with common courses revised rules for PhD. Lack of multidisciplinary flavor. Now industries look for human resources with multiple capacities rather than specialists in one particular field. As per the proposed structure for four-year UG courses, students will study a set of common introductory courses in the natural um, sciences, humanity, social sciences during the first three semesters regardless of what they choose to specialize in. Both the academic interest of the students and his or her performance in the first three semesters will be considered for allocating the disciplinary or interdisciplinary major. House panel for removing the uh, caste based payment method. To withdraw the caste based wa wage payment uh, provision under M and Rega and restore the single transfer, single fund transfer order FTO without segregating beneficiaries on caste line. On the basis of caste, that is, in the order of priority starting from SCST to the remaining others, uh, the, the audacious practice of wage being paid on. The report states the scheme of Emandrega draws its origin from the statutory source that is Emandrega Act 2005. The act in disgracing, excuse me, uh, the act in disgracing, disgracing from the basic tenets of treating all the Emandrega beneficiaries at par call for sternest possible criticism. One thing in common that is they are poor, destitute and have no other fallback option. One specific community is preferred over the other solely on the ground of caste will only give rise to resentment and create rift among the beneficiaries of M. Rega. Next article talks about green and digital tourism to be government focus area. Green and digital tourism will be the government's key focus for the next decade as per the draft national draft national tourism policy, the perceptions related to safety and security and weak engagement between the center and the state. The menace of doubt and low standard of cleanliness and hygiene. The document mentions the granting of industry status to the sector along with the formally granting infrastructure status to the hotels. Tourism and the green tourism, digital tourism, designation manage, des, destination management, Killing the hospitality sector and supporting the tourism uh, tourism related to M, related MSC, MSMEs. Next article is all about Sri Lankan minister in Delhi, India is Jaffna Airport Harbour project. One billion emergency credit line to Sri Lanka uh, for food and essential commodities. Um, 
will push colombo for the finalized finalization of early proposals on the joint development of pale uh, airport pala palali airport and kanchi santuri santurai harbor both in jaffna peninsula close to tamil nadu coast india has extended dollar 1.4 million to colombo since january uh, 500 million dollar line of credit 400 million currency currency swap dollar currency swap um, 500 million dollar for loan deferment with asia asia, asia na delhi also uh, wants in lanka to implement in letter and spread the 13 amendment excuse me 13 um, 13th amendment to the island nations constitutions on the political devolution to the tamil dominated north and east India's neighborhood first policy and maritime sagar that is security and growth for all in the region doctrine uh, noted the potential for increasing bilateral tourist flows including through joint promotion of buddhist and ramayan sector but um, two sides are also looking for looking at restarting a ferry service between talai manar in northwestern sri lanka and rameshwaram in tamil nadu in the india's portfolio in tamil tamil dominated northeast and the theater of its three decade civil war that ended in 2009 agreement between national thermal power corporation and silon electricity board to set up a solar power plant at sampur trinko malai chinese uh, renewable, uh, renewable energy project in the island uh, islands of jaffna development of trinko malai oil tank farm and another project had faced many obstacles uh, digitalization which likely relates to a recent pact to replicate the other model in sri lanka next uh, next article is all about one rank pension case that is supreme court has upheld the government scheme for one rank one pension what was the history uh, of the retired service personnel demand and on what grounds was the government proposal challenged one rank one pension means any military personnel retiring at the same rank with the same years of service must get an equal pension while this might appear almost obvious there are several reasons why two military personnel who have retired at the same rank with the same years of service may get different pensions military personnel across the three service fall under two category one is officer and other is they are called other rank who are soldiers usually retire at the age of 35 unlike government employees who are retired close to end uh, retire close to 60 years of age soldiers can thus miss out the benefit from subsequent pay commission since the pensions are based on the last drawn salary pensions too are impacted adversely the lower lower the rank the earlier the super annuity from 1950 to 1973 there was a concept known as standard rate of pension which was similar to one one rank one pension benefit of successive pay commissions were not passed to servicemen who had retired earlier the pension differed for those who had retired at the same rank with the same years of age but years apart uh, brick kp singh dio committee in 1983 recommended a system similar to standard rate of pension as did parliament standing committee on defense there are several reasons why soldiers have to retire early the main reason being that the country needs a young military it was argued that entire uh, um, retirement should not become an adverse impact for what a soldier earns as pension compared with those who retire later because soldiers uh, retire early remain eligible for pen- pension for much longer than other employees defense ministry pension budget is very large which impacts its capital expenditure defense ministry's pension to budget ratio is almost uh, highest among all minist- all ministries and um, pensions are more than 1/5th of the total defense budget uh, the retired defense personnel also have the largest share in the pension among all retired government employees challenges to one ration one one rank one pension uh, they submitted that the government had altered initial definition of one rank one pension instead of automatic revision of the rate of pension uh, under which uh, any future rising uh, pension uh, rates could be passed on to past pensioner the revision could now takes place into periodic interval uh, revision between the two um, the panel defined uh, one rank one pension as a uniform pension to be paid Uh, to the armed forces personnel retiring in the same rank with the same length of service irrespective of their date of retirement let us see the continuation in the next video